In today's video, we'll be going over six differences between English and American Staffies. The English Staffie and the American Staffie are often mistaken for each other. However, there are several differences between these two dogs despite their similar appearances. First, let's talk about the English Staffie. The Staffordshire Bull Terrier is the official name of the English Staffie. According to the Staffie's history, they descended from the Old English Bull and Terrier, long extinct breed. Back in the 1800s, bullfighting and bear baiting were common pastimes for Bull and Terriers, their owners breeding them for their aggressive dogfighting abilities. For a more in-depth look at what the Staffie was bred for, there's a link in the description to a previous video where we delve into the Staffie's dark history. Even though aggressive in the dogfighting ring, the Staffie owners bred the dog to be kind and gentle to its human family. These dogs often lived in the same accommodation too. So, the modern Staffie is an affectionate, friendly dog who likes spending time with its family. An aggressive Staffie is not an accurate representation of the breed, but rather the result of an irresponsible owner. Staffordshire Bull Terrier owners took their dogs to the United States to work their farms when they emigrated in the late 1800s. The Staffie became the basis for the American Staffordshire Terrier, a taller, more muscular cousin. Next, let's look at the American Staffie. Pit Bull Terriers, American Bull Terriers, and Yankee Terriers were some of the first names given to these dogs on arrival in the United States. The United Kennel Club first recognized them as American Pit Bull Terriers at the start of the 20th century. The American Kennel Club approved the Staffordshire Terrier in 1936. However, because the Americans had created a larger dog than the Staffordshire Bull Terrier, the American Kennel Club changed the name to the American Staffordshire Terrier in 1976. This was to properly separate the two breeds and avoid further confusion. Some breeders didn't want this change and preferred to keep the name American Pit Bull Terrier. Despite being separated for more than half a century, the American Staffordshire Terrier and the American Pit Bull Terrier still have a lot in common today. So, let's take a look at three similarities between the Amstaff and Staffy. But before that, please hit the like button if you're still here watching. So, similarity number one. Both types are devoted and affectionate to their owners, making them ideal family companions. Selective breeding has played a significant role in achieving this. The sociable nature of these dogs makes them excellent companions for families with children. Number two. They exhibit modest prey drive instincts even when chasing smaller animals like cats or dogs. However, this doesn't mean it won't happen, but it will be unlikely. Number three, both breeds are highly adaptable and may easily transition to a new home or way of life. Now, what you're here for, the six differences between English and American Staffies. Difference number one, Amstaffs tend to be easier to train than the Staffie. An Amstaff picks up the connection between commands and action pretty quickly. Staffies are not challenging to train, but they need more patience and consistent training before getting the message. Difference number two. American Staffordshire Terriers have a relatively low emotional level and are not overly sensitive compared to other dog breeds. They cope well with breaks from their routine, and even if you have many strangers or noisy kids over, these dogs take it in their stride. However, Staffordshire Bull Terriers tend to react poorly to an unstructured daily schedule, loud noises in the house, and frequent visitors. Staffies tend to be in tune with their owner's emotions. Difference number three. Staffies do not tend to bark very much, so they are an excellent choice if you prefer quiet dogs. Amstaffs will bark considerably more than the Staffie and can be compulsive barkers when left alone for long periods. Difference number four. The Staffie is perhaps a tad more affectionate and fearless than the Amstaff, but they are more tenacious dogs. Difference number five. Amstaffs enjoy playtime a little more than the Staffie, especially when they are still young. And difference number six. By quite a large amount, the Amstaff is a bigger dog than the Staffie. The size difference is the first thing you will notice if they were to stand side by side. Staffie males are on average 15 inches and females 14 inches. In comparison, the Amstaff male is on average 18 inches and females 17 inches. Amstaffs are the heavier dog with an average weight of 27.5 kilos. The Staffy averages around 14 kilos. There you have it, six differences between English and American Staffies. If you own a Staffy or an Amstaff and you think we missed something, let us know in the comments below. And if you want a new Staffy video every week, please consider subscribing. Thank you for watching.